when the screaming stops and your mind is gone. The rest, perhaps, is... Silence. What's that, squirrel? This squirrel might be the single most adorable creature you can recall in all your stunted memory. It would be ever so twee if it were climbing a tree. Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa! I was wondering if we could such a fearsome beast. You stare at the body before you. You have no idea what just happened. Uh, it, 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 it's horrible. I'm horrible. The swirling bile cauldron of your brain is cooking up a poison stew. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Follow your dark urge. Oh, I just punted the squirrel into a tree. Huh. You look rabid, pained, sick. You're spasming and twitching. The poor thing. Overwhelming violent desires fester in my skull. The norm is to keep dirty thoughts like that to ourselves, but. Do carry on. These cruel thoughts, they aren't me. Something has cursed me. It seems you've been dealt a vile hand. I say, play it. Play it for all it's worth. Nobody should deny themselves their true nature. Uh. Huh. Man. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? God damn! Just punted the full force into that tree. Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh. Seems like a good moment to talk. Glad you were here for those goblins. Picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. Well, that should have killed her, but she kept gasping. Clawing at the arrow. Taking life always has a cost. You have to feel it or you'll lose who you I are. I had the same thought. And it's just going to keep happening. Okay. Next. Looks like they dealt with the body of the body while I was busy murdering a squirrel. Yeah, there's the grave. I am I'm not going to get that squirrel out of my head. Jeez. <laughs> Ooh, I like those. All right. Is there a shop around here by any chance? There is. Nice. I got a lot of stuff on here, Shell. So. I care about our lives. Up you. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Are you really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. You just said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. As I said, it's a drastic measure. But the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. Well, what you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Stop shouting. No? There are two ways to buy and sell items. Trading is quick and easy, but bartering will let you haggle for the best value. 
Okay. So. Two hours later. Sylvanas be our lives. Okay. So what's up with all this yelling no, over here? You just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back. Right now. Hells. We can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point What's of going on here? spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or well, yell louder. That's fine too. You should all stay. A single blade could make a difference. Uh, yeah, I'd rather they stay, so let's not chance this. Guess it's a good thing I didn't chance it then, huh? Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. All right. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? I thought we could speak with animals. I guess not. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. All right. That cool. might be worth a look. What's worth a look? What? Oh. Open up. What? Did you find a needle? A pouch. Well, this isn't stealing, so. What's in the pouch, though? Ooh. Good find, Lay. Are these children? Discussion. The Blade of Frontiers. <laughs> what a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Hello. Go on. Give me a best shot. <laughs> Not bad. Again. to be like me you just have to buy enough time to run come on I believe in you you can do this it's a good advice child you'll do well to listen hmm <laughs> you're on the right path Umi go on now practice what you've learned well met the blade of frontiers at your the man's smile bends downward and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Another escapee. Thanks to the gods, I need all the friends I can get. Better friends than the ones hitching a ride in our skulls, at least. I'm sure you know the stories. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. They say there's no coming back. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. 
devil's advocate. Do you think she'll bring the blood war to Faerun? That ship sailed the sticks already. All I can hope for is to limit the damage. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Let's join forces. I'll help you cast this devil back to the hells, or I'm looking to cure this infection. I suggest we partner up. Yeah. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. All right. Uh, I don't think we're going to need any lock picking. So, Sterian, you go back to camp. What can I do for you? I need to stay at camp for a while. Uh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Please just stay at well, the camp. Do you know where to find me? <laughs> All right. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. I'd like to join up and find a cure for this parasite of ours. Chook. A worthy ally, perhaps. But I'll waste no time chasing devils while a tadpole feasts on our skulls. I've seen your people in battle. I reckon you are no mere warrior, but a god's damned army. I'd be a fool to let you turn your back. Pledge me your talents, and I'll pledge you mine. Chook. I'll presume that's Githyanki for yes. Now let's move. Ha! <laughs> The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade. Name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. What the fuck, Shadowheart? <laughs> Why are you being so mean? What do you do to you? Okay. Oh, it's another child. What are you hiding for? He stares right past you, as if you're invisible. Or boring. You see nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's no trace of the child. Did he steal from me? Don't see it. Yeah, I'll just keep that in my goddamn pocket until I can get Zevran. Sorry, not Zevran. Uh, until I can get uh, Asterion to look through it. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Uh, sure. Call it. Heads or tails? Heads. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? This is no magic ring. The runes are gibberish. Hey, not so loud. You caught me. All right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just trying to earn money for my family. My father left and my mother. She's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have. This sounds like a scam. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. Anyone could see through, see this was a modified war widow scam. The hell it is. 
You can't do that one with rings. It has to be with bracelets because. <laughs> oh damn. No, please go on. Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? Here's your ring. Let's trade. I knew it. Hang on. That's what I got. Well, I guess I will take. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Hmm. What do I want? I guess I can give you this and this and this and these and the jugs because I'm not using them for anything. I would like my stuff to be red again. I can't split it though. Seems like it's a package deal. All right. You bought You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. You motherfucker. <laughs> Read her thoughts. Oh, you bastard. What were you thinking, child? You see her hand in your bags and the shame in her heart. Something tells me the thieving life isn't for you. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. You have uh, some hey, explaining to do, Mattis. Your partner's a thief. Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. You could at least pretend to be sorry. I am sorry. Sorry we're still talking about this. Look. You caught her. Good for you. You want a chump like everyone else around here. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. <sighs> Whew. Okay, then. What a child. Let's see. Let us combine that with these. Get red. There we go. So, what's in this hole? Can't. You mean I can't use it right now? I'm too big. I need a damn small dwarf or a gnome to use that. Well, shit. If not over, then through. Please, last through. It is the big. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn! And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Radrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! Oh boy. Oh shit. Uh. I should speak up. The hell is happening here? Lives are at stake, and the. Cowards only care about their bloody rituals. We could have taken those guards. I'd rather you not get eaten by a bear. Try grease and palms. These things over. We need to get Arabella out. Now! You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. I saw what happened. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Oh. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. 
Horrifying. We should check on the girl. She's just a child. Oh. She's just a child. The truth's overreacting. I'll talk to him. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. All right. So. In order to get here, we need to speak with uh, Zoru, I guess. No, no. Zoru is... Who's this? Karlak. The Blade of Frontiers. Let's see. His mission to kill Karlak, a powerful devil. Find Zoru, the Gith Yankee warrior. Okay. Alright. So. We had to go through this exit here to get to Zoru. Neti is in the Emerald Grove here, and the devil is around this area. So, since we're here, let's try and get into the grove. Since we uh, beat the goblins, we should have a better chance to get through. Actually, we never talked a while. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. How does the Blade of Frontiers end up chasing a devil in the hells? Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus. As my source told it, and she was planning to return. One of the archdevils Ariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. Hmm. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. Who is this source of yours? A powerful friend with a keen interest in... ...privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. A powerful friend, huh? Like a warlock patron, perhaps? You are a warlock. You know about bound souls and frozen tongues. I can only leave the rest to your imagination. Suffice to say, I hunt monsters, devils included. And I will do what I can to quench the coast of their flames. Tell me, how did you become the Blade of Frontiers? My father once said, One does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the Cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. And he named you the Bl Blade of Frontiers? Or what ever became of the boy, I wonder? I left him with his uncles. Five years old and he's flourishing. If only every child was so lucky. I mourn the ones I could never save, whose cries I never heard. In the boy's tears, I finally saw the suffering wrought by the villains of the wild. The frontiers demanded a blade, and so I heeded. Baldarian. Story. Those raised in Baldur's Gate know to say well for better for yours. All right. It's nice to finally put a face to the name, so I know about him already. Maybe that's why I kind of copied his style, being a black man with, well, he has cornrows and have dreads, so. It's nice to finally put a name to the, a uh, face to the name. And it's nice to meet someone of your talents. Having a worm wriggling in my skull didn't instill much confidence in the days ahead. With you as my ally, the future looks a little less daunting. I know it's your stone eye. Did you lose in battle? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. Uh, I hope you won't be annoyed at me examining the eye. Tiny groups. Tiny groups oh. spider across the eye's surface. It resembles a sending stone, used to confer with distant contacts. Isn't your eye a sending stone? Uh, 
sending stone. <laughs> Nothing so special, I assure you. You watch and listen for signs of deceit, but sense nothing unusual. I don't suppose you come across an expert healer in your travels. <laughs> I've come to know a fair few village clerics, but none with the skill to pull these worms from our heads. From what I understand, there's a healer called Nettie in the grove. Perhaps she's got the talent. We should pay her a visit. I've got no memory of my past. Could the parasite have done that? Seems unusual to me. Then again, we're talking about tadpoles inserted into our brains by rubber-skinned tentacle monsters. There's nothing usual about it. All the more reason to stick close. I think you'll agree. And finally, I've got this bloodthirst, an urge to destroy, maim, and kill. Anger. I understand. We've been preyed on by elithids, suffered insertion of a mind-bending worm. Bloodthirst is another matter. But perhaps not too big of one, if it's a devil or demon's flesh you're wanting to tear. Alright. You know, I expect when explaining the, you know, murderous urges, most people will be worried. But apparently not. Most of them are just like, oh yeah, cool, whatever. That's cool, just don't be weird about it. Which is weird. But anyway, let's talk. Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You, get back. If it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I go where I please. Or why? What's so special down here? I'm not looking for trouble. Can't you just let me by? No. And you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Everyone, but only me. Or is it. Okay, everyone. Okay. Uh. Okay. Volo, procure of associate stories and curious. That's interesting. Ah, my good friend! You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Uh, sure. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Uh, let's give an exact description. Goblins were of a rare, jam-colored hue, and wielded magic blowguns. A mythweaver. What? This man has no respect for truth. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Dragon? There was no dragon. I think there's been a misunderstanding. What do you want exactly? The truth, my friend. Not a jot, more or less. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Uh... I don't think so. I was concentrating on not dying. Really? Well, this does complicate things. But then again... Well, never mind. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Goblin superstition not worth to parchment. Hold your tongue. Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Kukliak would come to some use. Dude, they're gonna fucking kill you. Wait, about your conversation earlier, why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. This is such a strange person. Alright, 
so we are at the Emerald Grove. Oh, looks like we can grab the antidote. Oh, I will do so. Yes, yes, I see. Oh, I do wish I could understand you. Let us find what we came here for. They're all in there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you lost your senses, Goga? Release her. She stole the eye. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Koga. She's just a a what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. A death viper. You have not that poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. Thief? Poison? What's the girl's actual crime? Girl? You mean parasite? She eats our food. Drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Wow. I do not Come like her. We took back the idol. Surely. Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. <sighs> hmm. Your mind wants the snake to kill the child, but your heart doesn't snap out of it. Her life matters more than satiating your dark fantasies. You focus, and they're gone. But clearly this child's life is in danger. Release her. I'll see if she stays out of trouble. Okay. I'm taking that guidance. Let's go. Fuck. Wait, I got inspiration. I should be able to read it. Oh. Okay. Damn, those inspirations are great. Very well. She may go. Break your word, and my serpent shall feed. Sif, sif, deal it to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Hmm? Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin will- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. All right. Inspiration. Cool. We lost one inspiration, we got another. What happened to you, Shadowheart? I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Are you sure it's not connected? Positive. You can trust me on that. Alright. Well, now we gotta talk to Kaga, the Archdruid. Now it's interesting, I've never seen an Archdruid like before. 
Like, I've always heard about arch mages, but never heard tale of an arch druid. Anyway. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Monster? Too kind. A demon, more like. You're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. First you urge grace. Then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The Viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. This rite must be born of powerful magic. The rite of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. I came on behalf on Zelvor's behalf. His people could perish if you forced them out. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You know, I'm surprised. I honestly expected her to be like, Yoro, you're a hired swordsman. Uh, kill them. <laughs> I guess she's not as much of a monster as I had assumed. Well, then it seems I best speak to Zevor. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed, and the Grove forever shrouded. What if we find the druid that's missing? It seems like he was the leader that uh, the other guy was talking about. Anything of use? Did a number on you, didn't they? Does that hurt? Are you? Is that a bird or a toad? Oh, it's a bird. All right. I see you. Just give me a moment. Is there anything I can do to help? A moment. This may be Catherine's. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? I kind of want to play a druid now. <laughs> uh, healing. Looks like it came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Uh, no good way of pointing this. I, uh, have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? Uh, you know of them? Or what other kinds are there? It's not like a frog hopped in my eye. <laughs> That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. What is this? Head on in. There's something in that vessel. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Is everyone being captured by mind flares these days? <laughs> Didn't think it was a common experience.
rather too common as of late. At least that's what Master Halson suspected. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I will remain. I have a vested interest in the outcome. All right. Let's see what we can do. Uh, what's the plan? Will it help? It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Is she about to take out my eye with that stick? Uh, I can merge my mind with anything else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On the mind flare ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. She was about to stab me! This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. You must have learned something from studying them. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. You said you were tracking other victims. Did they change? Hard to say. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. Do you think he's alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without... Goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? All right. Well, you're sure you can cure me? I can't make any promises. This is like nothing we've seen before. But I know this for sure. Master Halson is the only one close to understanding these things. He's your best bet to survive. Otherwise, that vile's your only option. All right. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Why do you think it? Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. So... Apparently there was something in the vessel that was worth looking at it. Okay, we can read our journal. Yeah, reading's fine. Nothing. 
Extraordinary happenings. While meditating in the forest, Nancy and I were ambushed by a pack of goblins led by a drow. They had no choice but to defend ourselves. But that is not the extraordinary, rather disturbing part. On the drow's death, a parasitic creature emerged from the corpse and attempted to escape. I managed to capture it and have the host cadaver here in my study. I've told no one of my fears. Nettie suspects, but knows better than to ask. I'll investigate further before informing the others. Kaga demands answers I don't yet have. I had better record any findings in separate volumes and keep them upon my person, lest prying eyes jump to the wrong conclusions. Alright. Just out of view. Drow's letter. Read. Track the druid, find whatever burrow he runs from, report back to me. Remember, you're only a scout. Do not engage, do not kill anyone. Simply observe and return. I shall decide what we do next. M. Hmm. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Well. Wonder who this mysterious M is. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you stick around to see more of what I'm making. Be seeing ya.